Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and welcome to another free Western here on the internet brought to you by Wild West Toys. You can shop with Wild West Toys online at www.toyguntown.com. Get ready for another fantastic episode of Shotgun Slade starring Scott Brady. Scott Brady was in the Navy in World War II, and he was also a boxer, which probably helped him with some of his fight scenes in Shotgun Slade. Get ready for another wonderful episode, and we'll see you after the show. big idea. Can you read? Sure. The print's large and the words are small. Then you ain't got no excuses at all. Excuses for what? Trespassing. Hurry it up. If I were you, I wouldn't do this, mister. I don't think you should have ignored our signs. Next time you won't. Jefferson Cody and his ramrod, Sam Chilworth, had started the Cody Ranch with nothing but ambition and a scrub herd. They made it one of the richest in the territory. Then Cody died, of natural causes. But somebody helped Chilworth on his way. That's where I came in. Name's Slade. I'm a detective for hire. You're not supposed to hit Stop people with telescopes. Oh, help! You're not supposed to scream in people's help. ears until you're properly introduced. Oh. Now, just who are you? Well, my name's Slade. Well, goodbye, Mr. Slade. Well, I would have thought that the Cody Ranch was supposed to be so hospitable. Mr. Slade, you have exactly five minutes to get off my property. And after that, well, after that, my men are going to be looking for you. Well, the Cody sure has changed, hasn't it? A lot different than it was when Sam Chilworth was running it. You knew Sam? Well enough to know his death was no accident. Just what are you doing here? I'm a detective, miss. Sam Chilworth sent for me. Must have been just before he died. He told me you've been having trouble up here ever since your dad died. Mr. Slade, when you lose four or five horses, that's bad luck. But when you lose 30, and your foreman's killed, well, that's something else. Tell me, what makes the view so interesting from here? Jock, my new foreman, the man who took Sam's place, is riding the fence line up there. I just wanted to make sure he was all right. Uh -huh. Is he? Yeah. See, Sam was killed up there, and... How was Sam killed up there? Trampled by a horse. An accident, they said. Sam knew more about horses than any man this side of Texas. Was this before or after the 30 horses were stolen? After, just a couple of days. Mm hmm Then it couldn't have been a coincidence. Oh, Sam must have found out who stole those horses. Well, 
most likely Steve Willis. How do you know about... I stopped off in town before I came out here. I found out that Steve Willis owns land on both sides of the Cody. Needs more room to run his cattle. Yes, he stands to gain the most if the Cody goes broke. Well, we all know it's Willis. Just that we don't have any proof. That's my job, finding the proof. If you can. Mr. Slade, if you could prove that he was responsible for Sam's death, well, I'd be very grateful. Oh? Now, is that a promise? You know, it, um, it might take a little time. Tell me, who does your hiring? Jock, foreman, I'll tell him that you're here. It's all right. Don't you tell him a thing. That way, you see, only you and I will know what I'm really doing up here. What if you find something? I'll just wait till you're all alone. See you at the house, Miss Cody. <laughs> Extra hand. Which way did you get in here? Through the south end. The south end? Vance and Billy are supposed to be lookouts there. <laughs> lookouts? Well, maybe that's what you call them. Well, by golly. You got past them. But well, by golly, I sure would like to see that. Yes, sir. What'd you say your name was? Slade. Is that all of it? Just Slade. Catch me there and back. Now, Miss Lily Cody is the owner. She gives the orders, and I just carry them out. We all eat together, but you sleep in the bunkhouse. You may not like it around here. We keep a good many men watching the fences. That's your idea of men? I just took this fellow on. You ain't hiring him. Why not? Since you boys can't handle the job I give you, I figure we need someone who can. I'm glad he's staying myself. Who's he? I just hired a barn, Miss Lily. His name is Slade. Ask me, he's one of Willis's men. You got something that says you're not? That's good enough for you. Show him the bunkhouse. This way, Slade. Sure would like to know what it was he showed her. Thing is, not too many men have stayed around as long as we have. Too much trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? Horses being stole, fences down, foremen killed. Killed? I thought that was an accident. Who said it wasn't? Sam Chilworth's been around horses all his life. Knew how to handle them. <laughs> sure he did. Regular breed. But him and Cody were working to develop a new bloodline. So they bought themselves a thoroughbred stallion, thinking they'd get some speed into the new colts. All they got was killer horses. That's right. Two of them. One named a prince and his full brother, Geronimo. Tell me. Who got to Sam's body first? Billy and me. Found him near the fence line. Yeah, I was working in the barn when that Prince horse came tearing into Corral. I knew Chilworth had taken him out. When I got to him, I saw it. Blood all over his front hoofs. Picked up Jock here on the way out to locate Sam. Doc said he'd never seen anybody so smashed up. He had hoof marks all over. Now, Sam should have got rid of him the first time he tried to trample anyone. That horse killed somebody before Sam Chilworth? Well, almost. A fellow named Harry Potter. Scared him so bad he quit and moved into town. That's a fact. Well, listen, his boys are coming over the hill. Call off your men, Lily. I'm here to talk business. You call stealing business? 
Any other time I'll settle with you, Jock, not today. Well, do we talk or not? All right, come on inside. But why not? Because the Cody is not for sale. All right, I'll raise my price. It won't do you any good. You're the most stubborn, confounded female. You're worse than your father ever was, holding on here like this. What'll happen when you lose the rest of the horses? Mr. Willis, I have 10 men who say I'm through losing my stock. Anyone who thinks different will have to get through them. Well, it's happened before. You ought to know. That's another thing. I heard you and the boys have been talking against me. With good cause, Mr. Willis. Remember that, with good cause. You're wrong, Lily. If you ask me, it's some of your own boys that were behind Chilworth's death and the horse stealings. Get out. Get out before I have you thrown out. That'll take some doing. But I'll leave, for your sake. You remember my offer the next time there's trouble. Selling out to me might appeal to you more by then. Late that night, Jock and the others were away, riding the fences. I figured it would be a good time to have another talk with Lily Cody. And I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you've taken too much for granted. But, Lily, I... I it's all my fault. I never should have led you to believe that. Marry me. Let me run this place for you. Vince, I can't marry you. You were anyone else until this whole mess is cleared up. Hey, that's cold. Well, thank goodness. I thought we'd lost you. Careful. Yeah, I was kind of worried myself. But goodness had nothing to do with it. Just my thick skull. Where's your boyfriend, Vance? Vance? Well, now, what would he be doing here? You ought to know. I do have to draw you a picture of everything I saw. Well, you pulled out of it. Yeah. How'd I get in here, anyway? Well, he heard you moaning. She yelled for help. I was taking a look around near the corral. Got here in time to carry in. Did you see the man who hit you? Oh, but I sure wish I had, thanks. You don't have to see Willis men to know they're around. You can smell them. Jock. Well, it's the truth. And if you ask me, he's not going to call them off until you marry or get a male partner to run this place now like it ought to be. that's enough. Guess now that I've had my say, I'll get back to work. Wait a minute. No, later. Not until I've had an explanation. All right. Vance is the son of one of my father's friends. He came to live with us years ago. My father thought that eventually we would marry, so he arranged things in his will so that the ranch was held in trust until I did marry. And when I did, my husband automatically owns half of everything. Is that the only reason Vance wants to marry you? I don't know. I wish I could be sure. Well, suppose you never do get married. Could you sell the ranch? Yes, a part of it. I don't know, maybe I should. Just one more question. When's payday around here? Payday, end of the month, why? Well, I overheard some of the boys down at the bunkhouse. Seems that uh, a lot of them have been losing quite a bit at poker. Just curious. Just curious enough to peek in my windows, huh? Well, unfortunately, Miss Cody, peeking in windows sometimes is part of my job. And I'll bet you enjoy it, too. Matter of fact, I do. Sometimes. <laughs> Some more horses last night. No sign of many place. How many this time? Ten. 
Well, couldn't you track them down? Sure, we followed them until they hit the dry creek bed. You ever tried tracking anything night and river dust a foot thick? We even figured the shortest drive to the Willis place. Thought we could head them off, but nothing. All right, we'll go to Willis. Now you're talking, Miss Lily. But we'll do it legal. Slade, you ride into town and get the marshal. Tell him to meet us out here first thing in the morning. Tell him to bring along a warrant for Willis's arrest. That's great. And just where is this marshal? If you can find the town, you can find him. They hire him by the pound in this part of the country. All right. <laughs> Me, Marshal. I didn't mean to interrupt your breakfast, but... Oh, shucks. This isn't breakfast. That was two hours ago. You see, there's nobody in the jail now, but the cook keeps making the same amount anyway. Can't let it go to waste. Oh, sit down. Thanks. I'll tell you what's on my mind, Marshal. I'm trying to get a little information on the trouble up at the Cody Ranch. From which side? Lily Cody's or Steve Willis's? And you can say that I'm on the Cody payroll. Feel sorry for that girl. She's had more trouble than a bobtail horse in fly time. Yeah, and everything seems to point to this uh, Steve Willis. Except the evidence. No evidence? Nothing. Hey, Marshal, are there any bonds or corrals within a four-hour ride from the Cody Ranch? Mm. Well, I guess the closest would be the Willis place. That wouldn't take any four hours. Well, what places would? Could be two or three. There's the uh, Fuller Ranch, uh, the old Frederick's place, and if you was to hustle, maybe the Simpson outfit. Uh-huh. But outside of those, there are no places where you could put up, say, 20 or 30 head of horses around here. Mm, wild horse corral's more than a two days ride. Well, that's about it. Well, much obliged, Marshal. If anything else comes up, I'll be over at the railroad office. You'll be talking to yourself, then. Doesn't open for two hours. Well, the land office, then. No. But tell me, a fellow by the name of uh, Henry Potter, now where would I find him? Well, he used to ride for Cody until he got trampled by a horse. Oh, you'll find him at the livery stable. He ought to be up by now. Thanks, Marshal. See you after lunch. You'd better hurry. I figure on starting lunch right now. <laughs> Could be I made my mistake in hiring Slade. And not taking care of him when you had your chance. You sure he left his saddlebags here? Well, they weren't on his horse when he rode out. There it is. Here, what's this? Let me see. Mr. Shotgun Slade. Private investigator, Denver, Colorado. What's the postmark? It was mailed here in Webster. And she sent for him. Is there a letter in it? No. Just a picture of Lily. What's going to happen when he finds out about us and the horses? Well, if he finds out how old Sam Chilworth got his. I figured it was you two. Now put up your hands. Let's get into the barn quick. And that's all you remember about your accident, huh? Yep. Came to four days later. Tell me, all during the time that you worked for the Cody's, you uh, never had a run-in with any of the other hands? Except with Jock, before Chilworth's death. He got mad at me one day for nothing at all. And when? Just before I got hurt. Tell me, how'd that happen, by the way? Well, I came into the barn one day. Guess it must have surprised him. He was putting away some tools, and I said, Hiya, Jock. He jumped about a foot. Slammed the lid down onto the tool chest. <laughs> Looked real guilty. You uh, think he was hiding something, huh? Yeah. Brandon iron. What it looked like. Did you ever see the Cody Brennan iron up close? Close as I'd cared to. Why? Well, then you know it's two C's back to back and overlapping like so. 
Yes, I remember. It stands for Carl Cody. Well, the one Jock had was one C. Only bigger. How much bigger? Mm. About like that. About the size of a horseshoe, would you say? Yeah. Yeah. You could say that. Thank you very much, Mr. Potter. It's Billy and Jock. They just shot Vance's mother after me. Lily, are you... Just hold it right there, Mr. Willis. What's all this about? That's what we want to know. Well, I saw Lily riding like the devil was after her. I thought I'd find out why. Now, easy does it, Marshal. It's Billy and Jock we're after. Did you get your proofs laid? All we need. Good. Then the money I owe you has been well earned. The money you owe... You mean you... That's right. He hired me. I sent him your picture in a letter telling him the situation. Asked him to come by here and clear my name. Now, look, Marshal. If Billy and Jock are as smart as I think they are, they'll probably try to make a run for it. Our best bet's the old Frederick place. Why there? I'll tell you later. Come on, let's go. Keep it up, Charlie. Another hour, and nobody will be able to tell these horses have been in here. You think they'll come up on that old corral? Not until after we finished up in here, they won't. After that, it'll be too late. We'll be on our way to Texas with the Cody horses. All right, Billy, give him a hand. Look, you wait in front. Try to get up as close as you can without being seen in case one of them tries to run for it. I'll try to get in through the roof. Here, hold my horse. Hey. What is it? Somebody coming. Slade? No. Lily? The Marshal? Willis? Jock had received and cast a check for $2,000 one week before Lily lost her first horse. And that told you where the horses were? Well, not quite. You see, in a poker game the other night, Jock didn't have enough money to cover his losses. But that made me think that he... Uh, that he must have spent the money. That's right. That's right, but where? Well, I saw you going into the railroad depot. Well, they just told me that no horses have been shipped out recently. Well, that meant that they must be around here somewhere. That's right, Marshal, but where? The land office. Now you're getting warmer. They told me that Jock had leased a piece of ground the same day that uh, the check was cashed. The Fredericks place. Marshal, I don't know how you do it. Oh, well, it takes years. <laughs> you see, Potter gave me a pretty good description of this. It pretty much fit the doctor's report on both Sam and Henry's wounds. <laughs> Everybody thought it was caused by a killer horse. Well, that just about winds up my job here. Got to be heading up north. Oh, Slade, you don't have to leave so soon, do you? 
Don't I? What do you say about that, Vance? Well, uh... Ah, that's just what I thought. <laughs> enjoyed Shotgun Slay, starring Scott Brady. You know, uh, it was a pretty popular show in its time, lasted a little while, and it must have been pretty popular because it was so popular that the television show Maverick decided to make fun of it. There's an episode of Maverick that they spoof Shotgun Slay and they make fun of this show. They also make fun of Gunsmoke and several other westerns. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you on down the trail. If you hadn't subscribed to our channel, please do. Please hit the subscribe button and it'll and then we'll let you know when we upload more westerns. Thank you very much. Have a great day.